with a tone like you heard, fine workmanship? Fifteen. Well, fifteen dollars won't buy enough gas to get to Tucson. Well, uh... Seventeen, that's tops. It's a deal. I'm not clutching myself, but I've got a horse out there in that trailer like to eat. You got a match, Tyler? Sure. Angie! Thanks awfully. <laughs> Dean Arthur, you ornery cowpoke. How'd you get? Since the days of Annie Oakley, only Angie Burke, star attraction of Monaghan's Wild West show, could execute that trick. Oh, I don't fool around with sharpshooting anymore. I am now a duenia. Duenia? Yeah, it's Spanish for chaperone. Yes, I know. I keep the wolves away from the wealthy Senorita Estrellita Estrada. Well, I'm glad to hear that the brakes are coming your way. How's it with you, Jean? Oh, just fine, fine. I couldn't be better. I... Could you use an assistant, Duane? Tough as that, huh? Well, the show I was with told it. Of course, I'll hook on somewhere. Something in mind? Anything. Say, how would you like to hop over to the Santa Felicia? For what? A job. The representative of the Estrada interest needs a ranch boss. What's his name? Well, when he was a barker with Monahans, we didn't call him James Garland II. Not Jimmy. And in the chips. I wonder if he could find a place for me. Why not? If he could sell me a broken down sharpshooter as a chaperone, you're a cent. Oh, I think I'd better keep Mosin along. Oh, it's not what you're thinking, really. He told me to my background, laid the truth right on the line. Truth? That is something new for Jimmy. <laughs> oh, that's my boss. Right with you, Lita. Take a crack at it, Jean. Santa Felicia's only a spit across the border. I'll think about it.
But, Senor Garland, for generations it has been the custom of these rancheros to live on these lands. I know the Estrada Grant like a book, Vescaro. Here our wives have always raised our children. Here we have always I'm made... making changes. You haven't any of you put out a dime for a couple of years. It is because for a long time we are not permitted to ship our cattle to the States. It worked a great hardship. Look, according to the grant, you're required to pay. And if the rent's stipulated, it's a steal. It is much when one has nothing. That's what I mean. You've been carried long enough. I'm cracking down. You catch on? But now the cattle will bring a good price. That weight is heavy. You've all been getting fat off this ranch. All except Mrs. Vascaro. You've gotten so thin, it's a wonder you stay so pretty. No one speaks with disrespect to the wife of Juan Vascaro. Oh, keep your shirt on, Vascaro. I tell it to all of us. He went berserk. I had to clip him. It is a good thing for us you did, senor. Gracias. Well, Jimmy's a little quick on the trigger, but whatever the trouble is, I'm sure he'll make it right. He's a good guy. I know him. You will tell him that Juan Vascaro was here. Sure, I'll tell him. Bueno. Be right back, muchacho. All right, Jimmy, they're gone. Jimmy! Hey. Hey, Jimmy, come on. Snap out of it. Oh. oh. Boy, am I glad to see you. Small world, isn't it? I don't know. I just got back into it. Lucky I bumped into Angie. She steered me over here to see you. I almost wish she hadn't. Is this a social visit? No, I'm here to brace you for a job. How you feel about it? <laughs> Knock me out, then you ask me how I feel. Oh. Well, I tell you, Gene, now more than ever, I, I do need a friendly hand. I sort of gathered you'd lost your popularity and your head. Yeah. A bunch of angry rancheros threaten your life. What do you do? I'm wondering what you did. Got a little out of line with Vascaro's wife. You know, I am always making with the cracks. This time I was innocent, honest. All I did was tell her she was pretty. Are those fighting words down here? <laughs> oh, Vascaro cools off as fast as he heats up. Manana, I'm his pal again. You know, Gene, the actual running of the big sombrero is a little out of my line, but uh, you got the know-how for the job. I'd like to try it. You're in. Besides, it'll relieve me of a lot of responsibility. I need a little time to play. I'm uh, figuring on getting married. Mrs. Strata? How'd you guess? Oh, I saw her in El Dorado. She's taking a bungalow down at the dude ranch just to be near me. She doesn't stay at the big sombrero, huh? No, she won't go near her rancho. Leaves everything to me. Now, I'm not making any mistakes. There's too much money involved. You used to throw that stuff away. There's a little advance on your salary. A hundred bucks? 
Look, Jimmy, I only want what I'm worth to you. You're worth heavy sugar, Gene, with a six-month guarantee. What's your hurry? I'm taking my gear out to the big sombrero before you change your mind. The foreman's leaving in the morning. Tell him you're taking over. I appreciate it very much. Forget it, forget it. You pulled me out of many a tough spot when you had it. Drop around in the morning, sign your contract. Your word's good enough for me. Business is business. Now, quit standing around on my time. Scram! Got a moon and the sun that is mine. Got the stars that sing in the trees. Got a life that's easy and fine. And the right to live it as I please. Oh, I'm thankful for small favors. Yes, I'm thankful for small favors. Golly, yes, indeed, I've got all I need. Sure, I'm thankful for small favors. Got a sky for a roof overhead. Got the prairie grass for my bed. There's a chuck wagon chuck full of chow. I'm a lucky coyote, I allow. Oh, I'm thankful for small favors. Yes, I'm thankful for small favors. Golly, yes, indeed, I've got all I need. Sure, I'm thankful for small favors. And then, Donny, please forgive the two little ones. The fault is mine. I don't see how you figure it's your fault. I put temptation in the way of Pedro and Pepito when I leave unlocked the chest containing fiesta costumes. Oh, horse rustlers, thieves. Uh, that Picano is on his way home now, so I must walk long miles to the rancho. In this hot sun, carrying a hot horse? Hmm? It will be my penance. Look, I'll do the driving while you pray. I think perhaps it will get me forgiveness. <laughs> I know it will get me to the rancho. <laughs> Senor El Sombrero ground is of great beauty. The flowers bloom with color. The blue heaven is filled with many flies. Hi. Oh boy, stop, stop! Ninos Malos, come here. Go and pick up the knives and take them back into the kitchens of your mothers. Andale, pronto. And for your misbehave, I will see that you don't sit in comfort for a long time. Andale. Huh. Ah, ha, ha. For this, I will give you two. <laughs> Deco, no wonder you hang your empty head. The little one's got good eye, while you throw at the tree and hit a horse. <laughs> Better luck next time. Oh, for this clumsy, there's no hope. Don't lose. I have learned to ride a horse pretty good. Mm, a poor char you will be. When you cannot handle a knife or shoot a gun, <laughs> your luck maybe you're better off than he can. He's a disgrace to the rancho, this Tico. Someday, maybe I do not always miss the thing at which I aim. <laughs> always we count upon you. The senorita respects the wisdom of old Felipe. My day for helping you, my friends, is past. 
Senor Garland has dismissed me. A senorita, that wicked one, lets my grandfather who raised her from a little girl be fired. It is not for you, my boy, to speak ill of Estreita. Her silly head is filled with nothing. Her heart holds only ungratefulness. Do not blame my little Don Luis. It is natural for the young to forget the old. Are you to be run from your home of many years like a dog with a mange? I am no longer of use. It is well that another takes my place. Come, we ride home. I'd better be going, Don Louis. Oh, Tico, you stand there like a great goose and let me forget the traveler who goes out of his way to bring me here. Uh, Felipe, Senor Otre. Mucho gusto. Welcome. You would do me the honor to rest on the ranch for the night, perhaps? I think I'd better not. It is the last invitation I am privileged to give. If you go, it will be more lonely for my grandfather and me on our last night here. Could you not stay? Well, I guess I can take care of my business in Santa Felicia in the morning and head back to the States bright and early. I do not understand. You tell me you come to Mexico for a fine position. Well, that job just didn't pan out right. And so Senor Tre returns to the States bright and early, huh? Maybe not so early, but much brighter. What did you go and hire this Autry fellow for? It's a smart maneuver putting in a new foreman. Looks like I don't contemplate selling the rancho. Sit down. Suppose Mrs. Strata goes soft-hearted about ousting the rancheros. She won't know about it. You know, like as not, this Louis Alvarado will go running to her. He thinks she's still in New York. How soon do you figure I can take possession? Oh, six months or sooner. If you give me my cut well enough in advance. Look, 25 G's a lot of cash to hand over on spec. If I'm broke, uh, I can't marry Lita now, can I? That's not important to me. When we're married, I'll take over complete control. You get the big sombrero at your price. That's the deal. Now sit down. They got a check. I'm not putting up a red cent. At least not until every squatter and critter is off. I'll have Autry attend to that. As soon as that's done, you get your bite. Fair enough. Now sit down. Come in. Come in. Ah, Senor Autry, come in, come in. <laughs> you, you catch me at work. <laughs> I, I like my garden. Oh, eh? fine, fine. Oh, <laughs> my bones. <laughs> I am pleased to see you again before you leave. I've decided to stay. Felipe, listen to what he say. Felipe, I didn't tell you, but I was sent here to take over your job. For the first time, Senor Garland acts wisely. I don't know about that. I want to try to help the rancheros if I can. You'll stay on as my interpreter. <laughs> Gracias, senor. Don Luis, the first thing to be done is to get Miss Estrada back to Mexico before she finds herself married to Jimmy Garland II. Estreit is to, 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 to marry this, this, this Jimmy two times? And if she does, it's goodbye to her bankroll. Jimmy is pretty fast with a buck. Felipe. Quick, tell me in Spanish what he's saying in America. This, this is que si él se casa con estrellita que... Never mind, never mind. I will send a letter to New York forbidding the marriage. She's at the El Dorado Dude Ranch. If you have any influence with her, you better get her away from there before Jimmy shows up. Uh, si, si. Felipe, come and help me change my clothes. Picaño and I go there pronto. You'll get there faster if I drive you. Gracias. We'll have to ride double to San Felicia. My trailer's there. Estrellit will not dare disobey me. I am her padrino. Her godfather. Lita has great love for Don Luis. Adios, Felipe. Uh, you are not going to change your clothes? Oh, I forgot. One moment, please. <laughs> Now, don't let her talk you out of it. Use firmness. I will. The thing to do is to get her out of here quick as you can. No, she can be stubborn, this one. 
It will be well for you to stand ready. Rescue me. If you fail, what can I do? <laughs> then you can use the firmness. <laughs> Senorita waving our feet in the air. Come out! Oh. No, oh, I cannot believe my eyes. Please go back! American style. Little animals sewed up together. Where are these on your feet? They're wedgies. Wedgies? Swell for walking fast. See? Huh. Estraida, I've come to take you home. Why? The reason I will tell you later. For now, it is important that you go. But I do not go. You disobey your padrino? I am no longer a child. I do as I please. Estreita, you return to the ranch or this minute. To sit like a sad cow with my hands folded? Oh, no. The place gives me the goose creeps. Never again do I go home. Never. Estreita, I warn you, you will be taken. And I warn you, padrino, I stay right here and no one can budge me. All right. Ayudeme, ayudeme, senor Jean, assisteme. Who are you, you cowboy? I'm his assistant. She must be budged. Quick, budge her. I'm sorry, ma'am. Drive down, Louis. Like everything. She knocked at you, hijacker. Where is she? In there. Lita! with the trailer. It is out of control.
Ayudame, help! I should have never tempted to drive this thing. Help! 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 Gene, meet Ben McBride. Don't get up. I haven't said. Jimmy, I come to... Sign your contract. I'm filling it out. Garland tells me you're on the job. Well, I think... I'll do the talking. I'm a rich man, Autry. I got that way of making smart deals, like buying the rancho. I didn't know Mrs. Strata was selling. She is, and I am. And I want every last man and steer run off by you. They're not to have time to sell their beef. No? No. If they do, they'll pay up. And if they pay up, they can stay? Doesn't this cowpoke know anything? By now, everything. Mac, here's the chatty talk, Gene. Tell me, you got the layoff? Yeah. And now that I know the setup and Mr. McBride, I'll sign. Right. And a project like this has got to be unity. Sit down. A straight six months, Gene. In the event I sell the ranch sooner, while you finish out your time working for McBride. And we might not get along so well unless you've shown plenty of stuff. So get moving. I will. So long, Jimmy. Sit down, Mr. McBride. I don't know as I like him. <laughs> With a closet lined with beautiful Mexican frocks, why do you get yourself up like a pocket edition of the Lone Ranger? Never again will I wear one of those dresses. Oh, I'm in heaven. Even if I did arrive in a horse trailer, one night in Mexico and already you look like a mamaracho. Where are you going? Back to the States pretty soon, you bet. In our tree's clothes? You'll never miss him. Would you see me go to Santa Felicia in a swimsuit? Oh! You can tell the senor cowboy he has great, large feet like an ox. <laughs> oh. Hey, Kiko! <laughs> oh, Zita! <laughs> I have need for the car and your boots. Hurry, my friend. I am no longer the friend of one who is not the friend of her people. My boots, senorita, I keep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help me. Hold him down. Now let me up. Let me out of here. Oh, fine thing. Sitting on people I don't even know. Let me up from here. Leave my boots alone. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Who oh, go, you horse? I do not forget this. Quiet, son, quiet. Oh, an angel with a hair of gold. You traitor. I thought you told me Jimmy was on the level. Well, he is. Lita trusts everything to him. Then she's in for quite a joke. You mean he's up to his old capers? Well, don't stand here. Go get her. Bring her back. Again? Sure. She's going in to have you fired. I'll try to stop her. Well, no matter what happens, stay on the job. She needs you. <laughs>
Uh, I'm becoming a little tired of you, Senor Cowboy. I'm sorry, Miss Estrada. Why do you keep interfering in my business? Well, it's sort of in line with my job. Then right now, I discharge you myself. My deal's with Jimmy Garland. So I can take you on my way and have Jimmy fire you. You mind if I go with you? I go to Santa Felicia alone. I said I go to Santa Felicia alone. We're going to Don Lewis together. Put your boots on. Damp in Don Luis' garden. I give the orders. I am the boss of the rancho. That's the reason you should know what's been happening around here. Who was with you? Who was the other one? My friends told me there were two of you. Well, that, that means there was one beside me. I know all that, and I can find out from Lita who helped you, too. But I'm just trying to save these cops a trip out to the big sombrero. You will tell us on Luis? I tell you nothing. You know, if charges are brought against you, it could prove rather serious. You threatened me, senor? Jimmy! Jimmy! Jimmy, you've heard what happened to me? Yeah, that's why I brought along the police. This hombre has just stolen me again. He's your man. Then it'll have to be a double arrest. I was working under the orders of Don Luis. See, si, see, si, he speaks the truth. If you take him to jail, I must go also. Well, that's okay with me. My mother, a mere to disgrace my godfather's not all right with me. If we will not bring charges, Senorita Estrada, we must go away. And if we're not here, we cannot arrest Don Luis. Of course, you will arrest no one. Please, go away. Muy bien, señor. Wait a minute. Permiso, hasta luego, señor. Yeah, looks as if you've gotten off to a bad start, Autry. I'm willing to make settlement on your contract. I like the job. I'm staying on it. You do not fire him? I can't. He's got a six-month contract. Don't let it worry you, darling. You go back to your pretty little bungalow at the dude ranch and forget all about it, huh? And let him run that rancho? Oh, no, I stay right here and run him. Well, that's silly. Well, the contract you gave is sillier. You go back to your pretty little office in Santa Felicia and remember that. No, the, the mission bells ring for benediction service. Uh, uh, perhaps you will accompany me. I don't think I'm in the mood for it. Estrellita, you come to benediction. Sit in the back where you will not show. See, si, Padrino. I will have to borrow your handkerchief. Piety becomes you, senorita. A little would suit you, senor cowboy. Your habit of taking without consent is a sin. Then I'd better go to the service with you. Keep an eye on me, perhaps? No. Keep an eye on my clothes. <laughs> Sheep on Rancho Pillow, while rounding up a dream or two. And we between old Amarillo and heaven blue. I lay me down on Rancho Pillow, while twinkling stars play peek a -boo. Get along, you sandman. Don't you understand, man? This here cow hand man's a sleepy buckaroo. And how I love my rancho pillow. I, I, I do. For there a cowboy keeps hoping that he'll soon be roping a dream that will one day come true. I, I, Pick them up. You might be invited by Esteban to do a fandango. Is that anything like cutting a rug? But Esteban is even more breathtaking. Is Esteban a good dancer? He's considered the best. But he's from 
for me. Point them out. He's not dancing. Maybe he's got a broken leg. Wouldn't that be my luck? He's standing alone. No cane or anything? No, he can stand on his two feet. He's waiting for someone. A girl, maybe. Oh, Uncle, do you think so? Oh, no. It's Juan Vascaro. And all the time I'm looking for the Sestevin. Can't we get together? More guests are arriving. I didn't invite any Americans. Those guys are crashing. Come on. McBride said we were to report to you. His orders was to circulate around. Yeah, around Autry. Estrellita, I have been waiting for you. Oh, but your first dance should be with your hostess. She is giving the party, Esteban. Will you honor me, senorita? Sure, sure. Oh, there you are. <laughs> money to pay for the trucking. Then we'll trail drive. We would have to go through the Lucia Pass. But the Lucia Pass is narrow and the hills are high. It will be exciting. Can I go, Juan Vascaro? Later, Tico. We will see. We'll bed down in the pass and move on at daybreak. Better notify the rancheros. As long as you're still working for me, Autry, it's in order to ask just what is it Vascaro's to notify the rancheros about? A little private business. Sort of a sideline. See you at your place in the morning, Juan. Good. What about this roundup you're staging? What about it? I don't like it. I didn't think you would. I'm sure McBride won't. Oh, Jimmy, how nice of you to have your friends drop in. I'm Angie Burke. Do you gentlemen know Jean? Well, sort of. Not very well. You boys and uh, Autry should get together sometime. That's a good idea. Yeah. Sometime. Anytime. It's a little crowded here in the patio. I think I'll step outside for a spell. You must meet my guest. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice. That 
all the rancheros to meet the Pablos. Let's move on. Make a neat package of this caballero for delivery at the jail. And the thing to do is put this bird on ice. Keep McBride guessing. Bueno. I will put him in the cellar beneath my adobe. He will be cool and uncomfortable. Then take him there. I'll ride to Pablo's and have the ranchero set things up. That's what you think. By the time the gang gets through with Pablo's, there won't be anything left to step up. Thank you. 
Mark! They have a shot my barn on fire! Muchacho! Come here! Let's get out of here! Hit the road! Pablo, when you've rounded up the strays, take them over to the main herd. You fellows go over there, too. Double the guard and keep watch night and day. And when you're traveling, carry your guns. Do not fear. They will not catch us napping again. I'm going back to the rancho and try to have a talk with Miss Estrada. All right. Come in. We got a lot of things to discuss oh, about. Yes, you know, that's what happened oh, today. Right. They do not have to again. We got a... Lita, you've gone pensive on me. Why? The rancho bores me. Would you uh, find a proposal of marriage diverting? Another one, Jimmy. I'm always in there pitching. What do you say this time? I think I... I don't know. So what do you mean? Nothing. Perhaps. Is this an occasion, or are you always especially beautiful and preoccupied? You expecting something? Why? You keep watching the gates. Was I? As if you expected a process server. Lita. Uncle is popping that pistol too close for my comfort. Look, she's shooting herself. Perfect. Good, good. The senora shoots a spot off the ace. Senorita Lita, you hold a card while I try. Easy, Kiko. All that stunt takes a lot of doing. Soon I will be able to. No? No. You are too clumsy. Only a little while. The senora is teaching me, and already I hit everything. The trick is to get you to hit just one thing. Don't worry. You'll be doing it in a couple of weeks. I must be ready before that, or Juan Bascaro will not take me on the trail drive. Well, I imagine Autry could put in a plug for you if he's going along. Everyone goes. It takes many to drive the big herd to the marketplace. Oh, Tico, your head is filled with dreams. Now, oh, don't discredit the boy leader. He probably knows what he's talking about. At the senora's party? Fiesta. At the fiesta? Party. At the fiesta party, we decide to travel to the Lucia Pass. There, we will bed down with the herd. You're going to lie down with a lot of cattle? <laughs> No, senora. Me, I'm going to keep on my toes. Good boy. You are leaving early. So you can devote the rest of the evening to thinking of me. I think too much already in this dull place. And why do you stay? I don't know. All of a sudden, I'm all mixed up. Well, that's a hopeful sign. Is it? Yes, it could mean that you're slightly crazy. Over me, I hope. Good night, darling. Good night.
people. Si, senorita. This cowboy, what is he really like? He is cavalleresco. What's that? It means chivalrous. 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 Senora, do you think I will ever be your chivalrous? Sure, when you're old enough to shave, you'll be a knockout. Senora, when I reach the marketplace, I have a peso to buy you a fine gift. Save your money, kid. I'll hand out all the presents. Here. This is my favorite. A baby could handle it. Take it on your trip. Gracias, senora. The first thing I shoot, I will lay at your feet. Oh, that'll be sweet. Just so long as there's no one we know. <laughs> Once they're better down in the Lucia, it'll be like spearing fish in a barrel. He goes put his way out front, hasn't he? It's been a good day. Once Stacy comes in, it'll be a perfect one. My boys could have done better. Watery and his gang had enough give us a rush act. You threw a scare on the one. That's all I wanted. It'll be old Stacy that'll... Who? Watery. He comes tearing in and... He got away. That ornery saddle tramp got away? Didn't you know? Well, how would I? Where's that Stacy? <laughs> in bed. I cannot sleep. Insomnia, huh? I don't know. Thoughts keep buzzing around in my head. Like what? Like everything. The rancho, the trail herd, Jimmy and the senior cowboy. Would you waste time thinking on that one? If he gave me a tumble, sure. He's much too fresh. Maybe you're right. Always he is butting into my business. You're right. He, he's getting under my skin. You're so right. You're wrong. Not up, down. If I come down, I miss the whisker. Yeah, I see it. Hold still. There you are. Bueno, I have shaved. I have shaved. Well, I think I'll go for a walk. Well, I'm not sleepy either. Can I go with you? Sure, come on. I wish I could play the guitar. A lot of folks don't play the guitar, Tico. It's nice for you to know how when the moon is shining. I do not sing also. There's a lot of people can't sing. But you do, Senor Jean. Yeah, I fool with it a little. It was in the merry month of May when I left old Texas far away. My darling girl behind She said her heart was only mine When I arrived in Mexico I wrote the gal who loved me so I wrote a letter to my dear but not a word did I ever hear. Not so good, huh? Perhaps you know another. How about this one? Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. Light she was and like a fairy, and her shoes were number nine. Earring boxes without topses. Sandals were for Clementine. That is not such a good one. The senora's light go out. Oh, serenading, huh? The song in Spanish would be better. I only know one. That wouldn't exactly fit Angie. It has only to be pretty. All right, here it is. Adonde era veloz y fatigada la golondrina que de aquí se va 
Yeah, it is beautiful. And all that you see is Estrada land, the big sombrero. Where's the end of it? It is not in sight. There's a saying in my people that when you could look far to the four corners and see only your land, then you truthfully could say, I have a rancho. You have a very important heritage. I can't understand why you traded for a ringside table. Maybe I like what I see across that table. Jimmy's the guy you want to be stranded in the nightclub with. That's your business. But for my dough, there's more important things you could do. Just what is it I should do for your dough? You could prevent the rancheros from being run off your land by extending their credit. My manager takes care of these things. But you should take an interest. Just what do you expect me to do? To stay here and look at nothing but herds of cattle growing fat? There's more than that. Children are growing thin. Mothers worried. Men going broke. And your rancho's passing into the hands of Ben McBride. I did not know. Somewhere under this Miss America front you're putting on is a little girl who used to call on old Felipe because she loved him. He's still around. So is Mexico. Go away, please! She's crying. What'd I do to her? If you will forgive me for listening, I can tell you maybe. You make her ashamed that Americano sees in Mexico the beauty she have shut her eyes on. Is that good? Magnifico. Never knew the time I couldn't count on Stacy. I don't suppose he skipped out on you. Not Stacy. It's a cinch Autry's at the bottom of this. Well, unless you tip your hand, there's nothing you can do about it. Is that the Lucia Pass? Yes. Yes. All right, farmer. Let's not waste any time. We've got plenty to spare. They're not due till tomorrow night. The work's to be finished tonight. Come dark, you boys start filtering across the border. I don't want it to look like a convention. Half the men work this side with me. You take your crew and gear and rig that hill before she narrows down. As soon as your boys are done, send them packing. And you sit tight and I'll do the same. I loaded up with grub, figuring we'd get hungry. Fine. Once they're bedded down, keep on your toes and your hands on the plunger ready for my signal. You got it straight? Two shots in rapid succession. A count of ten and then boom! <laughs> then hop aboard and don't stop to pick any cactus blooms. Of course, I'll be ahead of you. At your fastest, you'll be trailing me. <laughs> OK, boys, let's get moving. Unload McBride's equipment and then tote mine over to the other side. I'll be in El Dorado until things cool off. I'll be over. I finally made up Lita's mind to leave Mexico. <laughs>
I got the map. Look, we go right along the river. You mean that dry wash? Wash of river. We turn this way. We fell in the middle of the Luba River. <laughs> Don't look like that Sunday suit can stand much shrinking. He is a handsome one, this Charro. I'm practicing the draw. <laughs> look what comes now. Besides these people, are we to be burdened by one who drives a horse and buggy? Looks like Don Louis is raring to go. Oh, you question my rights, Juan Vascaro? Don Luis, it is only that this slowpoke pequeño has no place with fast horses. Well, pequeños no wish cracker like your horse, but he goes. He's a sturdy little fellow. He ought to make it all right. But this is no business for you, Don Luis. It might get a little rough. You think because my bones are old, I have no stomach for danger? Oh, you ought to be able to get yourself out of the clinches. <laughs> That's where I fool you, amigo me. When the clinches arrive, I do not get myself into them. All right, you'll do. We travel the plains straight to the hills. We shouldn't have any trouble getting them through this valley. If we move them all night, when do you figure we'll reach the Guadalupe? By sunrise. How wide is it? Compared to some of your rivers, <laughs> it is a stream. Then we should have them across by noon. If we do, we should be in Lucia Pass by nightfall. Barring accidents, we'll be right on schedule. All right, everybody, start mounting up. We're gonna move. Anyhow, I'm on top of the horse. He will give us trouble, this baby. Take it easy, Juan. There's a rookie on every team. <laughs> of Mexico Cactus lovelier than orchids Blooming in the patio Soft desert stars And the strum of guitars Make every evening seem so sweet In my Adobe Hacienda Life and love are more complete In my Adobe Hacienda Nestled in the western hills Evening breezes softly murmur Harmony with whippoorwill 
setting sun says the long day is done. Sweet music starts to fill the air in my adobe hacienda. Harmony is everywhere. Harmony is everywhere. Go, you should not play with the gun.
Nico. Help me to carry him, Jean. My Sunday suit is spoiled pretty bad. Don't worry about it. I'll buy you a new one as soon as we get home. Please, do not take me back for the senora to see I've got myself hurt. She'll be proud of you, Tico. Takes a crack shot to hit a moving target. Madre mia. I hit something. He's... He's that good. Magnifico. to bother about me. I detect a faint note of jealousy, and that I like. You could do worse. I can do much better by getting away from here, pronto. Uh, here, I'll take this. Uh, you all set, darling? Mm -hmm. Angie? Okay, I'll get in the back. Adios, you, Rancho, and I hope I never see you again. Nothing for Mrs. Strada to worry about. Just a kid got picked off. Tico. You made a shooting man out of him, Angie. McBride didn't get away. Uh, let's go, Lita. There's nothing you can do. You, Jimmy, two times can perhaps explain to Estraita the part you have played in this disaster at Lucia Pass. I had nothing to do with it. You may have a chance to prove that. The police picked up a fellow named Farmer. And one Vascaro is delivering Mr. Stacy to the jail. Lita, you don't think I knew about this. It is better you leave for the States before you are arrested. Lita, you don't actually believe that. For your own comfort, you had better stay out of Mexico. If you get out, senor. Don Luis, let's have Felipe take Tico at the bunkhouse. Tico is my friend. He used to rest in my house. It's too late now for me to do more for him. Jean, please tell me how I can help the others. I'm afraid that'll take a lot of telling. You'll have to stay around here quite a while. I think I will be here for always. It is where I belong. Jean, we will never forget all that you have done. Just throw the bouquets to Mrs. Strata. She's the one who wrote off the debts. Oh, it is little that I have done. So much I have learned. And she's wearing a Mexican dress to prove it. That she no more wear little animals sewed up together and those, those... Uh... Wedgies. Yeah. <laughs> that is the best change of all. <laughs> I think so, too. Well, I gotta be going. Adios, amigo mio. Goodbye, Don Louis. So long, Angie. Goodbye, Jean. Maybe before long you will come back, Jean. I'll be back soon, Estralita. Goodbye to my old Mexico and the sleepy Rio Grande to my fair senorita, lovely Estralita. Remember the ring I placed on your hand. Your dark eyes will guide me always. And your love will be true, I know. There's a tear in your eyes. 
Senorita, don't cry goodbye to you and my old Mexico.